Only at Chenzo's, 60 Broad Street, Route 18 in Bridgewater Center. P.S. Mark your calendar for the Big Riddick Bow versus Evander Holyfield fight, November 6th, and come early. $5 cover after 8 p.m. That's Chenzo's, 60 Broad Street, Route 18 in Bridgewater Center. The new jam in 94.5 carves up a hip-hop Halloween. It's the Pepsi Monster Jam. Monster Jam. With appearances by today's hottest artists all over Boston. All over Boston. Tonight, join Mark Clark as he brings home the finale with Father MC Live at Stars and Peabody. I'll be your love daddy, just wait and see that me and you, we were meant to be. Mark Clark kicks the jam live with Father MC at Stars and Peabody. The Pepsi Monster Jam. Be young. Have fun. Drink Pepsi. Transportation provided by Dominic's Limousine and presented by today's hottest music. The new Jam 94.5. We're cranking up another long, 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 long continuous, continuous, music, continuous jam. music jam. Lock it in for Boston's hottest hip hop and dance. Today's hottest music. The new Jam 94.5. Wildest dreams are about to come true.
the powerful mixes of the late night power play with master DJs Gary Canavo and Neil Petricone on the new Jammin' 94.5.
94.5 is WJMN Boston. Welcome to WJMN Sunday Morning Magazine, an hour of public affairs programming on items of interest and concern to Boston and New England area residents. Your host this morning is WJMN's Brad Hartz. Thanks and welcome to the first part of Sunday Morning Magazine. My name is Brad Hartz. One of the most outstanding organizations dedicated to its charity work and helping people with developmental, physical, mental, emotional, social, or economic needs is Goodwill. And joining me today in the studios this morning is Deborah Burke Henderson, who is the Director of Public Relations and Communications uh, for what we know as Goodwill, uh, officially titled Morgan Memorial Goodwill Industries Incorporated. Good morning. Good morning, Brad. Glad you could make it so early. Well, thanks for having me. First, why don't you start off by telling us, how, how did Goodwill get its name? Everybody knows what it is. A lot of people know what it is, I should say. Well, Brad, uh, I should at least start off by saying we appreciate the opportunity to come on your program. Uh, a lot of people do know the name Goodwill. Uh, obviously, it's been a household term for many, many years. In fact, the agency is now celebrating 98 years of service. Wow. And uh, how did it we all begin as far as uh, the roots and history of the agency? It started out in uh, a Methodist minister, uh, Reverend Edgar J. Helms, in fact, took over a parish in the South End in Boston, and uh, that was, in fact, called Morgan Memorial Chapel. And Reverend Helms was dealing uh, with poor and immigrant populations in the city, and they were very, very needy. Uh, he ended up taking literally a burlap sack over his shoulder and walking the streets of Beacon Hill and Back Bay, collecting uh, unwanted but saleable items, uh, bringing them back to his parish and sharing them with uh, the people in the congregation. And this was going on and on, and he kept seeing the same faces coming back uh, time and again and realized that what he really could do for them is not to give them charity, but in fact to give them a chance. And with that thought in mind, he encouraged them to take a burlap sack over their shoulders, go out, uh, collect the items, ready them for sale. And he started a cooperative store venture, which was then called Morgan Memorial Goodwill Industries. And uh, these individuals were then able to receive wages because they were now working and were able to purchase things that were for sale in the stores. So he really... Uh, gave them uh, skills that they needed to become more independent. And that is very much the concept that is alive and well today at Goodwill. There are so many things you do in addition to just help clothe people. I mean, that's probably the most common association that uh, people have, um, along with confusing you with the Salvation Army, which uh, I know is probably one of your frustrations you had mentioned uh, before we started. Um, and we'll get to a lot of the things that you do later. But it's interesting to note Goodwill started right here, in Boston. Right here in Boston. And it is very exciting. Um, Goodwill, in fact, is the founding parent of 223 Goodwill Industries affiliates worldwide. 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 Wow. And, uh, well, you leave it to a minister. He, you know, he <laughs> had a good idea and he took it around uh, to uh, surrounding areas and did a lot of traveling. He himself was from Iowa. And as I understand it, as I look back in uh, the archives within the agency, uh, as he would travel back occasionally to his own home, he would share this concept of not charity but a chance with uh, his fellow uh, ministers. And uh, the idea spread, and many of the Goodwills, in fact, were initially founded uh, by ministers in their area, adapting them uh, so that they were able to serve people's needs in their communities. When you say Goodwills, I know there are Goodwill drop-off points, and there are also Goodwill stores, which you have a new one opening soon. And, yes, in uh, fact, we've got a store opening on Thursday, uh, November 4th, oh, okay. down in East Providence, Rhode Island, which we're very excited about. We do have 11 stores in eastern Massachusetts, as uh, far north as uh, the Peabody area and as far south as Hyannis. Uh, 